What's up, friend? Today I'm going to show you how to build this very, very effective wood production. You can use this to, for example, fuel your sewing machine factory layout that I showed you in the last video, because that needs a lot of wood, and this will produce, as you can see right here, a lot of wood. And to spice things up a little, this time this is not a square design, but a nice and circular design. So, building this is pretty easy. You start by placing your trade union in the center. Then, you take one lumberjack hut and place it as far away from the trade union as possible on one side. Then, on both sides of that, place one lumberjack hut that is moved down one field toward the trade union. Then, next to those, one that is two fields closer to the trade union. It should look like that. Then you place four warehouses on each side of the trade union, collect, connect all of them with a the road in between them. Then you connect your lumberjack huts as following with roads, build one from the center of the warehouse and then just one straight like that. Now you can just copy all of that and just rotate it one time, overlap the warehouse and then it should look like that. Now you should have perfectly circular setup. Now just add some fire stations in two of these corners. They should line up perfectly with those warehouses. Now you just gotta connect those fire stations with the roads. So one fire station with two roads, so you have all your lumberjack huts uh, covered with fire stations. Then you gotta upgrade your warehouses because this is gonna produce a lot of wares, so we wanna put them on max level. Also, you gotta connect them with your harbor, so there has to be a street going out. So for that, you just gotta move on one side, one lumberjack hut over, so a gap like that opens. Then you're just gonna place your road in that gap, connect the warehouses, and then your wood production is almost done. Now you just gotta add the right items. Because now as you can see they all have like 25% efficiency. Which is very bad. You can also add more warehouses in these corners. But if you already maxed out your four warehouses in the middle, you probably won't need those extra warehouses. But if you don't want to max them completely, then that's a good option. Now for the items. First off, the most important one are the Teutonic Technical Secateurs. Those will make your forest 30% more dense, which means you're gonna need less forest in total. Also, the Druid Sickle is pretty important, because this is also gonna add more forest density. In total, with those items, you're gonna have 60% more forest density, and in this setup, this should result in 100% productivity for all of your lumberjack huts. But that's already it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.